If impatient words are spoken to you, never reply in the same spirit. Remember that a soft answer turneth away wrath. Proverbs 15.1 And there is wonderful power in silence. Words spoken in reply to one who is angry sometimes serve only to exasperate. But anger met with silence in a tender, forbearing spirit quickly dies away. Under a storm of stinging, fault-finding words, keep the mind stayed upon the word of God. Let mind and heart be stored with God's promises. If you are ill-treated or wrongfully accused, instead of returning an angry answer, repeat to yourself the precious promises. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Now a lot of times when we're in these situations and someone is attacking us verbally, our natural instinct is going to be to lash out, to be defensive, to try to defend ourselves or maybe say something mean in return. That first impulse you get is almost always the wrong one to follow because if you act on that then it's only going to exacerbate things and it's going to inflame the situation and chances are you're probably not going to get any good resolution. But this quote is so practical and if we can just stay our mind upon the word of God that we should not be overcome with evil but we should overcome evil with good and in doing so you know we will be heaping coals of hot fire upon our enemy's head or in other words kill them with kindness this is the way Jesus would have treated his enemies and of course as his representatives as his children this is the same way that we should act even if we're being wrongfully treated we did nothing wrong at all you know Jesus said blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of God I hope you can remember this next time you feel that fire burning within you to kind of respond and to to be mean or try to get the one up or the upper hand on the other person don't think about your ego don't think about your pride and remember the example of Jesus I pray that we could be like Jesus in every situation and that the Holy Spirit would guide our actions in every circumstance. I hope this was a blessing and I hope you have a great rest of your day.